Guys, I'm freaking out right now. Look at this. I think I have some kind of an artillery shell in the hole. It's moving. It's free. It's ready to come out. Let's get it. Let's see what we got, guys. Oh, my gosh. What in the world is down here in this hole? It's heavy. Oh, my gosh. Guys, I'm out here at an undisclosed location with my buddy Wayne doing some uh, metal detecting for Civil War stuff. They had campsites and the uh, battle, the uh, territory changed hands like over 20 some times. It's crazy, but check it out. Very first signal out of the ground. It was a real jumpy, like 50s to 70s signal. And uh, looks like we have a Civil War round ball. Nice old piece of history right there, guys. Civil War bullet, and it is fired, so they might have been chasing them right up through here. So I'm going to keep following the same path, see if we can find anything else. Very, very cool, right off the bat. Heck yeah. See you back. Guys, second signal. I'm following that. Uh, I think they were getting shot at running up this ridge and uh, check it out you can see the mark where the where they had the ramrod pushing it down in the gun that is awesome right there number two civil war out of the hole just right under the surface too I mean these signals are not deep at all but we're getting ready to get hit with a massive storm so we're gonna run back to the truck and wait it out and hopefully get back out for a couple of hours see you Guys, I've been working on this iron signal now for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, trying to dig down to it. You can see it's fairly deep, about a foot and a half, two feet down, and uh, check it out. So far, here's the end of it right here. This could be some kind of a artillery round or something. I'm not sure, but I did want to document it just in case before I get to digging it too far. And uh, we'll see you back when it's ready for extraction, if there's anything cool. Guys, I'm freaking out right now. Look at this. I think I have some kind of an artillery shell in the hole. It's moving. It's free. It's ready to come out. Let's get it. Let's see what we got, guys. Oh, my gosh. What in the world is down here in this hole? It's heavy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Oh shoot. I gotta go get Wayne, guys. I'll be right back. Guys, guys, this is my most incredible metal detecting discovery ever. Check that out. I just went and tracked Wayne down because we had got hit by a big rainstorm. His phone's not waterproof and he left it in the truck. So I've been running all over the ridge side like a crazy person trying to get him. <laughs> then we had to find out where I was at because I left all my stuff here at the hole. It touched nothing. He says that uh, he thinks it's a parrot. A big, th what did you say, a three-inch parrot? Yeah. Look at that. Still, got the fuse. Still has the fuse inside of it, guys. Yeah. Isn't that wild? My goodness. Yeah, that's what it is. That's a parrot. Oh, that's incredible. I think it's Union. Union? I believe. A Union parrot. Check that out. Oh, man, that's incredible. Hold that freaking bad boy, brother. <laughs> nice <laughs> find, nice find. Yes, sir. Guys, what in the world? That yeah. is what I'm talking about right there. Excellent. <laughs> that's incredible. Yes, sir. We're going to keep working at it a couple more hours. See you back. Check this out guys, before I ran Wayne off of his site, he found a real nice drop three ringer. We are on the Civil War today, boy. <laughs> yes, sir. I have another signal right here in front of this tree, similar to this parrot, but I'm, I'm just stoked. 
that's that's probably the one of the best finds I could ever ask for. All right, guys, see you back. Guys, it just popped out a uh, solid 82, 83 signal right up at the base of this tree. And I think it might be like a convex button. Check it out. I don't know if it has any fancy or nothing on it. It looks like it has something on it. Right there, you can kind of see something on it. You can see how it's real recessed. I think it's a convex button. Nice early button, possibly. Maybe something off of a soldier's uniform. I'm not sure. I'll have to let Wayne check that out, but... Very, very cool find. We're going to keep working at it, guys, a little bit longer. See you back. All right, guys, that's it for me. Wayne's still up in there working at it a little bit longer. Um, I've had a great, great day. You can see here, absolutely incredible artillery shell parrot. Check that out. Oh, man, that's, that's awesome. Bucket lister right there for sure. I got a piece of one, fra or fragment they call it, you can see there fragment of another shell got a musket ball a fired three ringer a drop three ringer possibly a confederate fired bullet you can see there kind of concave in it a little teeny tiny pistol shot round ball there and then this cool looking uh, button. I think it's a button. Either a button or a piece of a uniform maybe. You guys can see there. It may say something on it. I'll show it better at cleanup. But yeah, all Civil War relics right there, guys. And a big bucket lister parrot. You can see two, uh, actually one, two, three, four, five, six shotgun stamps. And a couple of uh, 22 shells. But that right there, that, that makes it all worthwhile. It was a 19 signal. Two feet down under the ground. The Nocta Impact Pro. And the very first time I've used the headphones too. Worked really, really well. I'm super happy about today. Along with the uh, bullets. Hope you guys enjoyed the uh, footage. I know I sure did absolutely incredible day i'll never forget and uh thanks for watching guys like and subscribe see you next time what's up guys creek diggers coming to you tuesday morning i'm back out here probably for the last time at the haunted dump um I'm going to flip you around momentarily and show you what's left, but there's not a lot left. We've been digging this since last winter when we first discovered it. And uh, it wasn't a real, real big dump, but a nice dump. It goes down about 10 feet in most places over the side of an old road. And uh, there's been a lot of really awesome stuff in here. But sadly, this place is coming to an end like all dumps do eventually. A um, lot more permissions for the year and... The Baltimore Bottle Show was incredible. Met a lot of really cool people. Got a lot more new invites to come out and dig and metal detect. So very, very fortunate, you know, for that kind of community and uh, people. And it's going to be a great year. So really appreciate all you guys for the continued support. You know, liking the channels each and every week. Uh, 
It's a lot of work putting out these digging videos, but I really do enjoy making them for you guys. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started today. Let me show you exactly what I'm doing here. All right, so several months ago, in between these two trees, I started this trench right here, which it's all filled in now because like I said, as I dig forward and trench forward, I'm pushing everything behind me and filling all the holes in. So you can see the kind of the discard pile and stuff, which when this place is completely done, I will take all this trash and glass, put it in a hole and bury it. And then I'm gonna come out and uh, plant some grass seed and stuff around the area, just to show my appreciation for you know, being in here and digging and stuff. And then all this will grow back up and you won't even be able to tell anybody was here. But so here's our progress right now. Me and Wayne's been working on pretty much backfield all the way in just a couple of feet deep right now, all the way up to the front of the dump almost. So right here's where I left off in the last video. You can see only like maybe six inches under the ground right at my very first hole that I dug here. And then what's left is this little spot right here, around that tree, and then up to about this little mound area. Just right in here. That's it. That's all, that's pretty much all that's left. Maybe a tiny, tiny little section right there. It's real shallow. So that'll be easy to wipe that out. You can see somebody's been here picking right up on the bank, right up close to the road. Wayne's just pulling in. Maybe a tiny, tiny bit left on that bank. And then, yeah, that's about it, guys. Everywhere else is done. Everywhere else is dug. But we're going to get started on it this morning and uh, just start clearing this all out. Going to go all the way back down to the bottom. Probably about seven, eight feet right here at this point and then just work forward this little last bit here. Stay tuned for the action, we'll go see what we can get. Here we go. Guys, check this out. The last part of the undug dump. Um, I've been working, I don't know, 15 minutes. You can see I just went through a burn layer, got into this dark, dark ash right here, and out popped what I think is some kind of like a pottery dog figurine. Let's check it out and see. Yeah, check that out, that's real cool. Oh, that's neato, and it looks to be in real good shape. It's made out of almost like that Rockingham pottery. Check that out, guys. That is so cool. Heck yeah, first find of the day right there. Little pottery dog. Brown and white glaze. That is beautiful. See his back. Guys, yeah, still working down and uh, check out what I just threw out in the shovel. Looks like a little doll. Has something on top of its head again. Let's see what it is. That's like a weird horn thing on its head. Let me clean it off. All right, guys, there's that strange looking alien doll. Check that thing out. Looking at you like, what in the world? It looks like it has like little gill plates sticking out of the neck you see that blue gill plates and then a horn on its head i don't know if that's something like an evil doll or what that's supposed to be and then check this out right behind me wayne just popped out a real nice amber sharpened dome poison six-sided poison from baltimore heck yeah brother man is that your first, first poison ever? Yeah, I got <laughs> Nice, Wayne's first poison. It's a fairly common one, but they're nice. I like digging them. They come in cobalt too, which are real rare. I've dug one, but yeah, cool, man. See you back, guys.
All right, you can see I'm working just under under this tree. You're starting to work under this tree and then just up this little side right here. And then right here in the corner, look at there. Just popped out a real nice amber poison bottle, guys. Check it out. There she is. Poison, three-sided. Nice. This one is early machine made cork top right around 1910 1915 era nice amber poison bottle heck yeah all right we're gonna keep working at it see you back Guys, Wayne working right here beside me. Says he just popped a green marble out of high. Yeah, that's a pretty one, Wayne. I think that's a good one, buddy. It's a larger one, too. Oh, look at the colors on that, guys. Oh. The chip right there. You got a little chip? I think. I don't know. I can't tell. I don't think. No, it's, that it's, thing is beautiful, brother, man. It's a little off uh, roundness, but... Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, hopefully. green and white. What do you think that guy's a Christian? Another Christian, sir? Vitro, something like that. That is cool, buddy. Yeah, I'd put that away to keep it out of the uh, cold, but I think that's gonna turn out good. So do I. Yeah, Wayne. <laughs> All right, guys, see you back. Guys, check this out. Wayne just popped out a little whistle. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? Oh, that is neat, brother, man. Still has a little ball inside of it and everything. That's cool. Might, yeah. might find a mint, mint mark or something. That's neat, brother. No whistle A little yet. whistle, but <laughs> it won't work. Not yet. Maybe when it's cleaned up, it might. Yeah. That's cool, man. Heck yeah, whistle for Wayne. See yeah, that? check it out. He just cleaned it out, guys. There it is. Yeah, freaking working whistle <laughs> after 100 years in the ground. Brother, man. Yeah. Very cool. Yep. That's neat. See you back, guys. Guys, look down there right next to my shovel. Right there, you see that green? Right there. Either a coin or a button in the hole for the trap. Let's get it and see what it is. You wanna hold the camera for me, Wayne? Thanks, buddy. That's a button, yeah, there's a shank right there. It is a flat button. How about that? I bet it's got some fancy on it, too. Can't tell just yet, guys, but there you guys go. Look, a little flat button with the shank on it. That looks kind of early, too. Not sure if there's any fancy on it, but I'll show it better at cleanup. See you back. Guys, check this nice crown stopper Wayne just popped out. Probably went to the smelling salts, I would imagine. Very fancy. A little bit of melt, but not too bad. And I think I have a soda in the hole. You can see I'm having to have a little collapse, but I'm only three feet down to the bottom, so it's just going to fall on me a little bit. Right there, the soda bottle in the hole. Ready to come out, I think. Let's get it. What do we got? Oh, it's a Myersdale. Check that out. Myersdale Bottling Works from Myersdale, PA. Ain't dug one of them out of here. Been a while since I dug one of them, too. Nice blown and mold crown top. 
1905-1910 era. Sweet. Nice little soda. All right, guys. See you back. Guys, I'm working just off the bottom. You can see that light gray ash I'm working in. There's a bottle right there in the hole I just seen. But I just popped out this really neat little dish. I'm gonna hand the camera to my buddy and, and I'm gonna wipe it off so we can see what it says. But you can see it's got a real nice pictorial in there. And it looks like it's in good shape. It's not gonna wipe off or nothing. Look at that. Yeah, baby bunting takes his hoe and tries to help the flowers grow. Nice. Check that out, guys. I think it's a little baby bowl for, you know, serving babies back in the day, maybe. It's got a nursery rhyme on it. Looks like being in real good shape, made out of uh, stoneware. Very, very cool. Yes, sir. See you guys back. All right, I'm going to go ahead and record this bottle right here, guys. Oh, I can see it's broken right there, but let's pull it anyway. Let's see what it was. Ice blue. It was an ice blue. Nothing. It was just a slick. Bones coming out. All right, we're going to keep working at it, guys. See you back. Yeah, I was pretty sure I just threw out another poison in the shovel. I seen it fly down the pile behind me. It lays right there. Yes, sir. There she is. Another beautiful poison, amber poison. This one's earlier. This one's blowing them old cork top. 1905, 1910 era. Sweet. Three poisons today. Maybe a skull and crossbones will come out. Who knows? But turned out to be a really good day on this last little piece. See that? Guys, look down in the hole. Do you see it? We got some green in the hole. Right there. I think we got a coin this time. Ugh. You want to hold this for me, brother? I think we got a coin this time. Good golly. Yeah, I think it is a coin. I don't know if I'm going to get any ID on it out here or not. What would you say? Did you think it's a weedy size? Yeah. It's definitely a coin. I'm going to have to hit it with some peroxide or something when I get home. Though. There you guys go. Some kind of a copper coin. I show it better at cleanup. All right. We're going to keep getting at it. See you back. Guys, bottle in the hole. Right there. Just popped up a little tiny one. And it is embossed. Check it out. It says Chapatoot. Chapatoot from Paris. I think it's some kind of little new little uh, perfume bottle, maybe. Chapatoot. That's cool. Heck yeah. See you back. Wayne has a soda bottle in the hole, guys. Let's go down here and see what it is. It's working up high right by this big giant tree. And there she lays. I'm going to call them a lampies. What is it? Yeah. My lampie bottling works out of Cumberland. Yeah, it's got pressure cracks all over it. A little lamp piece. Nice. All right, guys.
see you. Check this find out, guys. I think it's a little little uh, desk lamp. It says filled to this line. So I think you'd have put your oil in there. And then your wick would have went down in here. Maybe it is blown in mold. Looks kind of early too. Real light. And then right there. Big old shooter marble in the hole. Check that out. Yeah, big clay shooter. Nice. Heck yeah. I'm talking about. That's my first marble today. I always love digging the big boys. All right, guys, gonna keep working at it. See you back. Check out this chunk of glass Wayne just popped out, guys. Look at that. Very strange looking. Huh. Yeah, that is crazy looking. What do you guys think that was used for? have no idea just a solid chunk of red glass neat heck yeah and then i think right here i have a whiskey or something in the hole right there let's get it there's a big champagne yep we were just talking about this any kind of stamp or anything on this one nope just a big old champagne bottle nice uh olive green color See that. Guys working right up under this tree and beside this tree. And uh, check it out. Right here in the hole. Right there, I got some kind of piece of stoneware or pottery in the hole right here. Let's get it. I don't see any kind of fancy or stamps or anything on it but it does seem to be all there maybe a custard jar or... i'm not sure you guys tell me what you think that is pretty cool piece of stoneware i don't see any marks or anything on it but it does seem to be all there all right just gonna keep working at it see if anything else comes out see you back Got a real fancy lid I just popped out, guys. Check this out. It's got real nice oriental designs, hand-painted lid. That little uh, nick thing's supposed to be in there. I guess it fits down in and turns and locks in place. But there's a cool little lid. And then right back in here, you can see I got a shaker. Shaker bottle all fancied up. Look how tiny that one is. Very, very cool looking. Definitely will clean up real nice. Two hand painted items right there, guys. I'll show you better at clean up. We'll keep working at it. See you back. Guys, today is poison day. Check it out. In the hole. Number three. Another poison. Another amber poison bottle. Check that out. This one's blown in mold as well. Real light honey amber on this one. So three different shades. Two blown in mold and a machine made. Three poisons and Wayne got one too. Four poisons today. See you back. Guys, Wayne down here working in the deeper part of the dump. And look at that in the hole. Coca-Cola, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Cumberland, Maryland, straight side Coca-Cola bottom script for the Wayne. Dude, that is beautiful, brother, man. Just a little tiny ding. That's a nice Coke. I think that's factory. 
It could be factory. That's a that's a real pretty light honey amber one too, yeah. buddy. Heck yeah, there's no sun today, so I'll show up better at cleanup, but that's your first coke, isn't it, Wayne? Yep. Well, my first whole one. <laughs> first poison and first coke day. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Heck yeah, man. That's a sweet one too, brother. Check that out, guys. That's what I'm talking about. See you back. Guys, Wayne's got a crock in the hole he's just starting on. You can see the whole front of it opened up right there. He's going to work on that for a minute, and then I'm going to come back over and get a live pull. Right up here in my hole, where I've been working at all day long. As soon as I figure out where I put it at. There it is. Right there. Check it out. I'm pretty sure I have a china marble in the hole. Look here. I'm almost positive it is. Yeah, look at that. There's the orange paint. See the orange paint going around it there? Look at there. China marble in the hole, guys. Sweet. See you back. Guys, I'm just slowly pulling the layers down and working back this last little section. Wayne's still down there working on that crock. And uh, check it out. Right there. I think I got another coin in the hole. Most definitely have another coin in the hole. This is a copper one, though. Let me see if I can get it cleaned off a little bit. We'll see right back. All right, guys, no ID on the coin yet, but you can see it's fairly large copper. Uh, I'll definitely toothpick it when I get home and show better cleanup pictures of it. But I think Wayne is ready to pull this crock out. <laughs> oh, guys, here it comes. Come on, baby. Look at that. Yeah, I think it's all there. I think it's all there, brother. Brown and white. Big old fruit crock. Yes, sir. What's Quartz. that? Quartz. Uh, dude, that's neat. Heck yeah, Wayne, brother. Hold on. I don't want to drop my coin here. Hold on. Yeah, that's in good shape, too, man. Big old crock for Wayne. Check that out, guys. Nice. We're getting coins, we're getting poisons, and we got a nice crock. Sweet, that's probably a two gallon. All right, see you back. Guys, check out my little dish getting full. I got a big, big giant clay shooter marble there you see that uh coin down in there i got about five marbles so far a little buckle nice little uh spoon hires california fig syrup some kind of little fancy little dish there a little tiny sample wine dill's balm of life a little slick druggist some kind of like a brass uh bracket or something i'm not exactly sure and then check out what just came out of the hole guys look at that bad boy right there i think it's a full statue yes it is look at that it's a woman and she's holding a pair of binoculars oh that is so so cool look at that look at the detail on the scarf and everything blue hat standing on a pedestal that thing is in perfect condition no damage at all it's gonna clean up beautiful i know it just with a toothbrush and some water but look at that beauty
Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. See you back, guys. Guys, check it out. Wayne's got a big old whiskey jug in the hole, and you can see it's got like light blue lines going around it. Heck yeah, let's do this live. Live action. He's only about maybe two, two and a half feet down under. Something else right there. Yeah. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh, it's a. Is it a little drinking glass? Uh, a jar. It's like a white house. Hopefully, it didn't bust through it. Should have a handle on it somewhere too. Maybe the other side. Yep, yeah, there it is. Oh, the handle's looking good. Hopefully that jar is not broken it. It's getting loose. Yeah, it's kind of, it's almost ready. Something else in there too, huh? Here it comes, guys. Here it comes. Oh my gosh. Big old whiskey jug. Yes, sir. There you go, Wayne. Nice, man. A crock and a big whiskey jug for you, brother. That's yeah, beautiful. That. <laughs> that is beautiful. Watch that handle, though. It looks like it has yeah. a little crack it's in got it. A crack there. Nice, though, man. That's real pretty. Yeah, it is. yeah, that's a beautiful whiskey jug, Wayne. Sweet, guys. Check that out. All right. <laughs> See you back. Yeah, Wayne well, just popped out a nice fancy little That's dish. Oh, broke. it broke. Yeah. I don't know what that was, man. And then it check it out, guys, in the hole. Perfect, Emerald green. I think it's a larkin. <laughs> yes. yes, it is. Larkin Company out of Buffalo. Pretty, pretty emerald green one. Smelling salts. Nice. Heck yeah. See back. Guys, check this out that uh, just popped out of the hole. Goes right along with that nursery rhyme bowl thing that I dug earlier. Wayne actually dug this, but he gave it to me. It says, the three bears. Check it out. It's got a nice pictorial on it. And then back here, very cool. It says, silver hair, I declare. You have broken Bruin's chair. When they reach their home or lair, when they see the havoc there, twill be more than they can bear. <laughs> that is awesome. Very, very cool. Heck yeah, see you back. Check it out, guys. Another marble in the hole. 
Right there, another clay shooter marble. Heck yeah, I think that's number six or seven for the day. Nice. Very, very cool. I don't think there's a whole lot left to go here, but I'm gonna keep working at it for a little while. See you back. Guys, check this out. Wayne just popped out this nice mason jar. It is a slick, but it is, I think, green. Let me hold this thing up in the air for you. Yeah, look at that. Real pretty green color on that one. Sweet. See you back. All right, guys, you can see this red area right here is undug. And then right to my right, you can see how it gets darker, lighter ash. That's all dug material. So just this last little section right here I'm working. And I popped out a real nice blown and mold amber whiskey flask from Baltimore. I popped out this really neat basket weave tray or container there. Pretty cool. And then I popped out this bad boy right here. Check it out. It's a Dr. Pierce's aneuric tablets for kidney and backache nice it's always a very cool bottle to dig heck yeah they're still coming uh we got a couple more hours left of digging see you back if anything else cool comes out guys it's starting to rain on us and uh you can see i'm like touching the uh last hole right here and just right under here right there pretty sure i have a little tiny whiskey jug in the hole you can see the handle and everything on it already yeah it looks like it's all gonna be there i think she's all gonna be there here she comes yeah yes sir got a little teeny tiny chip right there on the on the lip but the handle and everything's there yeah that looks nice nice so nice little uh molasses jug i think it is very very cool i'm happy with that and it's just starting to rain too nice heck yeah guys been an incredible day um i'm gonna mess around just a little bit longer see if anything else is left in here to come out and then we'll do a quick wrap up see you back Guys, bottle in the hole. I think it may be a embalming fluid, but I'm not sure. Let's get it and see. Oh, yeah, it is. It's a red falcon. Red falcon concentrated embalming fluid. The Max Hunky Chemical Company, Brooklyn, New York. Was that a good call, Kathy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah see you back guys wayne's messing around over here in the very last little section on doug and he just popped out a real pretty transfer wear plate yeah that's beautiful man ironstone 1880s 1890s on that nice and then look at my hole guys i think i got one of those little tiny salesman toilets check that bad boy out dang that is really cool heck yeah <laughs> little tiny urinal what in the world guys look at that that's the neatest little thing i ever did find i don't see any kind of stamps or anything on it but that is really really cool little tiny salesman toilet cool Go keep working at it. See you back.